क्लास फाइव आई एम ओ पार्ट वन Mathematics question number one. There are fifty passengers in a bus. Six of them are children, while the rest of them are adults. If seven by eleven of the adults are women, then what fraction of the total passengers in the bus are men? The total number of passengers in the bus is equal to fifty, and the total number of adults is equal to total passengers that is fifty minus the children that is six, which is equal to forty-four. Number of women in the bus is equal to forty-four into seven by eleven, which is equal to twenty-eight. Since there are seven by eleven of the adults which are women, total number of men men in the bus is equal to total adults minus total women, which is equal to forty-four minus twenty-eight, which is equal to sixteen. Fraction of men to the total number of passengers is equal to sixteen by fifty or eight by twenty-five. Mathematics question number two. What is the difference between the place value of four in the millions place and place value of four in the thousands place? In the millions place is equal to four million, and four in the thousands place is equal to four thousand. The difference between these two is thirty nine million ninety six thousand. Mathematics question number three. The given figure is divided into four parts. Area of rectangle QRST is thirty-two square centimeter, and area of square UTWV is thirty-six square centimeter. Find the total area of rectangles PQTU and TSXW. Area of UTWV is equal to thirty-six square centimeter. Using this, we can find one side six into six, which is equal to thirty-six. From this, we know that T W equal to U T equal to U V equal to V W is equal to six centimeters. So, area of rectangle T S X W is equal to L into B, that is eight into six centimeters, which is equal to forty-eight square centimeters. Here, eight is already given. Area of rectangle Q R S T is thirty-two square centimeter, that is given, which is equal to L into B. Already we know the length that is eight centimeters. So since the square uh, centimeter is thirty-two, eight fours are thirty-two. So breadth is equal to four centimeters. Then area of rectangle PQT is equal to L into B, which is equal to six centimeter into four centimeter, which is equal to twenty-four square centimeter. Thus, total area of rectangles PQTU and TSXW is equal to forty-eight plus twenty-four. Which is equal to seventy-two square centimeter. Mathematics question number four: Find the sum of the common prime factors of one hundred and fifty-four and two hundred and twenty-four. Prime factors of one hundred and fifty-four is equal to two seven and eleven. Prime factors of two hundred and twenty-four is equal to one two seven. And common prime factors of one hundred and fifty-four and two hundred and twenty-four is equal to two and seven. So sum of these two common prime factors is equal to nine. Mathematics question number five. Round off the sum of this numeral and and another numeral to the nearest ten thousand. The sum of these two numerals is fifty seven lakhs ninety eight thousand seven hundred forty six. And rounded off to the nearest ten thousand, we get fifty eight lakhs. Mathematics question number six. If area of eight identical squares is three hundred and ninety-two square centimeter, then find the perimeter of each square. Area of eight identical squares is equal to three hundred ninety-two square centimeter. Area of one square is equal to three hundred ninety-two square centimeter divided by eight, which is equal to forty-nine square centimeter. Therefore, side of one square is equal to seven, since seven sevens are forty-nine. That hence we get. Side of one square as seven. Perimeter of each square is equal to four a, which is equal to four into seven, which is equal to twenty-eight centimeter. Here a is the side of the square. Mathematics question number seven. Sneha had two thousand rupees note. She spent three by eight of it on a dress and bought a pair of heels for rupees nine hundred forty-five. How much money did she have left? Total amount Sneha has is equal to four thousand because she had two two thousand rupee notes. That is two into two thousand, which is equal to four thousand. Total amount she spent on a dress is equal to three by eight into four thousand, which is equal to one thousand five hundred. 
total amount she spent is equal to 1500 plus 945 which is equal to 2445 rupees the amount she had left is equal to 4000 minus 2445 which is equal to 1555 rupees Sahil travelled 12 kilometers 450 meters by train 8 kilometers 225 meters by a car and 3 kilometers 450 meters by a scooter. Find the total distance traveled by Sahil. If we add all the total distance covered by train, car and scooter, we'll get the total distance traveled by Sahil. That is 24 kilometers 125 meters. We can express 24 kilometers 125 meter as 24 125 by 1000 kilometer or 24 1 by 8 kilometers. Mathematics question number 9. Which of the following is greater than 1 by 2? We will check the A option. If we add 1 by 4 and 1 by 4, we will get 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. But they have asked which is greater than 1 by 2. So this option is not valid. B option 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 6 by 6 which is equal to 1 that is greater than 1 by 2. So option B is correct. Mathematics question number 10. Arrange the area of following figures in ascending order. Here they have not mentioned shaded or unshaded. So we are going to calculate the area of the whole entire figure. In P 1 square is equal to 1 into 1 that is 1 centimeters. So P there are 6 vertical and 6 horizontal. So, area of square P is equal to 6 into 6 centimeter, which is equal to 36 square centimeter. Similarly, in Q, each side is 2 centimeter. So, 2 into 2, which is 4 centimeter, and there are 12 this side and 12 another side. So, area of square is equal to 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter, which is equal to 144 square centimeter. Similarly, in R, is equal to 16 centimeter into 16 centimeter which is equal to 256 square centimeter so arranging this in ascending order will get the a option as correct one mathematics question number 11 raman had some money he spent 1 by 5 of it on education and 2 by 5 of the remainder on food he saved the rest a what fraction of his money was spent on food b if Raman spent 2400 on food, then how much did he save? Let total money Raman had is equal to R. Given 1 by 5 of R is spent on education, we can write this as 1 by 5 into R. After spending 1 by 5 into R, remaining money will be 4 by 5 into R. So, he spent 2 by 5 of remaining for food. We can write 2 by 5 into 4 by 5 of R which is equal to 2400 as it is said in part b of the question 8 by 25 r is equal to 2400 from this we know that 8 by 25 is the fraction of money spent on food and the value of r that is total amount which is equal to 7500 the amount he saved is equal to 7500 minus 1 by 5 into 7500 minus 2400 which is equal to 3600 rupees that is the b option is the correct option mathematics question number 12 the table below shows the cost of peanuts at stall p stall q and stall r which two stalls sell the peanut at the same price to make it easier for us we can convert all our calculations to kgs and since stall p is already in per kg we need to calculate the other two the price of peanut for stall Q for 600 gram is equal to 100 rupees. Therefore, the price for 1000 gram that is 1 kg is equal to 100 into 1000 by 600 which is equal to 167 rupees per kg. Similarly, price of peanut for 1 kg in stall R is equal to 150 rupees. So, the stalls which have the same, uh, same amount per kg is stall P and stall R. Mathematics question number 13. In 7 plus dash plus 0 0.026 is equal to 7.826, what is the missing fraction in the given blank? Let us simplify and find the missing value. So, uh, 7 plus 
dash plus 0.026. We can write this as dash plus 7.026. And then dash is equal to 7.826 minus 7.026, which is equal to 0 0.8 or 8 by, 8 by 10 or 4 by 5. So the answer is D. Mathematics question number 14. Match the following. If we match the face value and face value, we will get the answer as C option. Mathematics question number 15. Which set of numbers give a sum of 160 and a product of 5775? In D option, one number that is 170 is greater than 160. This option is not possible because they have asked the sum of 160. But the number itself lies more than 160. So this is not a possible option. In option B, if we see 60 into 100 is 6000, not 5775. So this option is also not possible. In C option, 65 into 95 is equal to 6175, not 5775. This option is also not possible. Now we are left with only the A option. As we can see, now let us check the A option. 55 plus 105 is equal to 160 and 55 into 105 is equal to 5775. So this option is the correct option. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys know a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.